Hello, how to solve this exponential equation? This is negative 19 to the power of n equals 19. So, in for the value of n that satisfies this equation. So, we start by replacing this negative 19 with negative 1 times 19. So, we have negative 1 times 19 raised to the power of n equals 19. Now, if you have a times b raised to the power of c, this equals a power c times b power c. So this is negative 1 power n times 19 power n equals 19. Now, let's consider this other identity if you have e power i times pi plus 1, this equals 0, meaning e power i times pi equals negative 1. We have negative 1 here, so we have e power i times pi raised to the power of n times 19 raised to the power of n equals 19. Now, if you have a power n raised to the power of n equals a power n times n, multiplying this, we have a power i times pi times n times 19 power n equals 19. Now, what we can do is to make use of natural log. Of natural log of e power i times pi times n times 19 power n equals natural log of 19. Now, this is just like having natural log of a times b, which is natural log of a plus natural log of b. So applying that here, we have natural log of, this is our a, which is e power r times pi times n, plus natural log of b is 19 power n, equals natural log of 19. Also, if you have natural log of a power b, this is b times natural log of a. So let's apply this other identity here. We have i times pi times n times natural log of e plus n times natural log of 19 equals natural log of 19. Now, natural log of e cancel each other. So we have i times pi times n plus n times natural log of 19 equals natural log of 19. There's n here. There's n here. We can factor that out. So we have n times this divides n. We have pi times pi plus this divides n. We have natural log of 19 equals natural log of 19. So make it in the subject here, we divide this by i times pi plus natural log of 19. We divide this by i times pi plus natural log of 19. So what happens here is that this eliminate this. And we have n equals natural log of 19 divided by i times pi plus natural log of 19. So that is our value for n. Now the next thing we can do is to consider another method of solving this problem. Here is it, negative 19 power n equals 19. So what we do is to consider the same identity. Let's replace this with negative 1 times 19 power n equals 19. So Right now, we can consider this other identity. Remember, square root of negative 1 is i. 
Let's imagine number i if we take this squares, this cancel this. We have negative one equals i power two. So this is negative one. We have i power two times nineteen. We say prof n equals nineteen. So what we can do is to apply natural log now. Of natural log of i power two times nineteen. We say prof n equals natural log of nineteen. So remember if you have natural log of a power p, this is p times natural log of a. So this n here can come behind the natural log. We have n times natural log of i power two times nineteen equals natural log of nineteen. Now remember if you also have natural log of a times b, this equals natural log of a plus natural log of b. So right now, this is uh, a, this is b, so we have n times natural log of a, that is i power 2, plus natural log of b, that is 19, equals natural log of 19. So right now, what we can do is to isolate n by dividing this by natural log of i power 2 plus natural log of 19 and also dividing this by natural log of i power 2 plus natural log of 19. So this cancel this. And from here, we can have our n equals natural log of 19 divided by natural log of i power 2 plus natural log of 19. Now, consider the fact that if you have natural log of a power p, this equals p to natural log of a. So this simply means that our n equals natural log of 19 divided by these two here will come behind this. We have two times natural log of i plus natural log of 19. So this is our n. This is in this particular method is the solution of n this method and this is the solution of n using this method here. So if you compare these two, you remember this is 2 times natural log of i which is the same thing as i times pi. So 2 times natural log of i is the same thing as i times pi and that is the only difference we have using any of the methods. So guys, here's how you can solve this exponential problem step by step and I believe you enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe and share. You can use any of the methods. The two solutions are obviously very correct. So that's it. Thank you and goodbye.